End of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking the question, will ACDI help unionize the print industry? I'm thinking there's some folks in the print industry that can't wait to get unionized. There's some folks that think we don't want to be unionized. But one thing I'm pretty sure of, it's never came up in conversation. So I thought today I would bring up the subject. About two and a half years ago, our friends at ACDI stood on stage in Scottsdale, Arizona, and told the print industry, those friends of mine that sell supply and service print equipment, that ACDI was now in the electrical vehicle charging station business, and they wanted the print industry to deliver electrical vehicle charging stations into the marketplace and service these things. What a great opportunity. Boy, when they made that announcement, I think it was pretty much the same day. I did an episode and I said, it must be really hot in the desert. There's people hallucinating. Ladies and gentlemen, ACDI getting into electrical vehicle charging stations is a great diversification strategy for them. What does ACDI do? They build channels. They build a network of dealers to sell things. The channel they built successfully was around workflows, business processes, print management. And the channel that delivered those products and services successfully was the print industry, the folks that sell B2B technologies and services. And now they want them to sell electrical vehicle charge stations. ACDI, you just picked the wrong channel. Your diversification strategy about building a channel makes sense. But again, you picked the wrong channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is so excited about the print industry getting into electrical vehicle charging stations. I really do believe it won't be long before we see them in a booth at a BTA meeting, getting the dealers to sign up for the Brotherhood as they sign up to sell electrical vehicle charging stations. Exaggeration with no accountability leads to unrealistic optimism, creating false hope, delivering disastrous outcomes. What is our industry going to learn this? Our industry is so damn excited about stuff, but then there's no accountability. And then we get this unrealistic optimism. We're going to sell millions of electrical vehicle charging stations. If you get the electrical vehicle charging station in the parking lot, you're going to get the MFPs in the hallway by the water fountain. And then we'll get old men in the industry and it'll talk about absolutely nothing with no detail to get you even more excited. Did you see this picture of this electrical vehicle charging station? Oh man, this is a beautiful station. But they don't tell you how much that beautiful station is going to put in your bank. They don't tell you how much it's going to distract you. Ladies and gentlemen, exaggeration with no accountability leads to unrealistic optimism, creating false hope, delivering disastrous outcomes. We've seen the disastrous outcomes. What do I say? Adjectives without math are usually proved pure bullshit. Where's the math? Where's all the details around these electrical vehicle charge stations? And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, the IBEW, those power professionals, do you really believe that they're going to allow print dealers to go and get government grants? Do you really believe this? I believe the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is going to start seeing any kind of movement in our industry with electrical vehicle charge stations as a serious threat. As a very serious threat. Ladies and gentlemen, are we sending our technicians to the electrical vehicle infrastructure training program? Because when they go to these programs to learn about these things, to, to be able to get the government grants and stuff, guess what? Well, they'll be in a room full of those folks from the Brotherhood. And they could talk to your technicians about how important it is to become unionized. And they could try to get some of our technicians to become, well, union stewards, for instance. You know, you got to go back and share with all of your technicians that are delivering these electrical via charge stations how important it is to become part of the Brotherhood. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that the imaging channel won't be getting any of the money for the 500,000 electrical vehicle stations as part of the infrastructure bill. Unless, of course, and there could be some folks in our industry that truly do not care if their shops are unionized. I don't, you know, maybe they don't care. This isn't about politics. This is just about a reality that our industry jumps after things, chases squirrels, and they don't ever put any real thought behind anything they're doing, for the most part. And I'm curious if this conversation's ever even came up. Ladies and gentlemen, 
ACDI built a phenomenal company, helping our industry with workflows based on print flows, MPS. They just did a fantastic job. They built a phenomenal company. They know they have to do something different as more and more people become less dependent on workflows regarding paper-based products, okay? I mean, come on, let's be real. It's changing, the model's changing. ACDI says, hey, we gotta diversify. They get into the electrical vehicle charging stations. This is fantastic for them. Stick to your core, ACDI. You build channels, that's what you do. Go build a channel to sell electrical vehicle charge stations that makes sense. If those dealer friends of mine want to sell electrical vehicle charge stations, set up a separate business and go sell them. Set up a whole separate business. Go get successful at it. Ladies and gentlemen, revenue minus expenses equals profit. Here's some warnings. Using the labor, the intellect, or the infrastructure of the core to deliver non-core products or services and not accounting for its costs will eventually cause massive profit losses. Just as you should not put all your eggs in one basket, you should not cover all your costs from one basket. And I see my friends get into electrical vehicle charge stations, get into IT services, and they're, and they're using all the profits from the core and they're not accounting for the cost to deliver the diversification. They're not accounting for all the details that it takes to deliver the diversification. They're not accounting for the distraction it takes to deliver the diversification. And if they were, ladies and gentlemen, we'd see more of that out of the marketplace, and we don't. We just hear, always hear the hype. Again, we hear about the adjectives with no math that are usually proven pure bullshit. One-offs. Think about the one-offs that our industry does. An industry with history of not holding accountable, the add-on or the one-offs, with near the scrutiny of the core. We get into these one-off deliverables and we don't even pay attention to it. You know, we pay for all of it out of the core deliverable. We decide to go out there and sell a product, maybe some software solution, and we think we made a lot of money we get all excited, we pay the sales rep his big commission check, and then we finally go out to install it and we spend hours and hours and hours and hours. Then we gotta fly in experts, and then we're paying all these fees. And two years later when it's all working and we gave the customer terrible experience along the way, we realize, holy crap, we didn't make a damn bit of money on that. As a matter of fact, it cost us thousands of dollars. And then guess what? Sooner or later they do it again. The industry suppliers of the one-offs do very well in a playground, void accountability. Our industry is being disrupted and the one-off players are going to come to our industry and they're going to come hard because they know, hey, these folks are kind of desperate. Get them to do this. They'll do it. And it won't matter if they're successful. We just got to get a whole bunch of them to do it at least once or twice. It will be successful. That's not good for the industry by any stretch of the imagination. Ladies and gentlemen, now I want to address key point intelligence. Key point intelligence, you know I'm not a big fan of them. The reason I'm not a big fan of them is because private equity came in there and bought up most of the analytical firms they have. They're, they're, they're analysts, they're giving out awards, there's so much conflict here in my opinion, it's crazy. Now they want to get into e-commerce and now they're talking about AI, cybersecurity. Let me just share this with them and ask them a question. Well, the ambitions of Keypoint regarding educating the industry on AI prove beneficial in both revenue and profitability or are we all witnessing another baseless fantasy strategy like chair-based billing? Remember seat-based billing? I called it chair-based billing from the time it was formed because it was crazy. We took a concept that was in the IT services world with multiple facets. And customers could actually pay by the seat because there was multiple facets involved. And we thought that people were going to pay by the seat with a printer. And the whole time that was being propagated in the marketplace, I was a naysayer big time on it. A lot of people didn't like me being that naysayer. But at the end of the day, has anybody heard about chair-based billing lately or seat-based billing? Have we heard about it? How long before we see a nonsensical award for AI? I can see it now. The Key Point Intelligent AI Award. This particular OEM, this particular dealer, they are the AI experts. We're giving them the Key Point Intelligence AI Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please, 
remember that one-offs don't make an industry. Getting into a diversification without any accountability does not diversify an industry. And make sure when you get into these things, you have conversations that aren't all positive. You have conversations to try to figure out what could be wrong with what you're doing. Our industry doesn't look hard enough at what could be wrong with what we're doing so that they can make sure when they run into these things, they're prepared. Because I assure you, the electrical vehicle start charging stations, that's going to get the attention of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Just some things to think about, my friends, because we all know this, status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.